What are we looking for today I'm at the coin show? The 2022 American Women's Quarters because I didn't get to get them last year. What's going on, stackers? We had an amazing time at the Central States Numismatic Society's annual convention. We got to see some old friends, make a few new ones, and finally got to do a bulk submission with PCGS, which I'll cover in a future video. In fact, there was so much to pack into this video that I didn't even get a chance to show off the haul of all the great coins and bullion that we picked up. So if you'd like to see that, give this video a like or let me know in the comments below and enjoy the show. Kurt, how's it going today? Oh, it's going great. We're uh, very busy here for the last day of the show. Busier than uh, normal. Now, one of the most important things that any rep does when they're taking in a submission is verifying the quantity and type of items we're bringing in. How do you handle rolls when they come? Well, these rolls here are bank wrapped. Uh, right from the mint. We don't need to open those because they're already sealed and uh, counted. So we don't need to open it. We just need to look at both end points to uh, make sure it is what we have written down here. We are taking in items under camera. So Kurt will put in the time and date as well at the top of the form when he has time. Uh, to verify if there's any issues later, we can go back to the footage and find out if anything went wrong during the process. Indeed. But, thanks, Kurt. Sure. Da-da-da-da. You're always good at doing the poses, Annie. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. So I'm here with Mickey from Coin Standard, and Mickey has what I think is the coolest invention I've seen, um, especially this show. It's a holder for your PCGS and NGC and Mickey, this fits all graded coins, right? PCGS, ICG, NGC, Annex, and more. All most aftermarket slabs, nice. third party companies. And these are collapsible, you said? They are collapsible, so use it when you need it, collapse it when you don't. Uh, awesome for shipping and uh, kind of general storage. Wow, because I know how you sackers are. No one can know that you own any of this, right? I get it. So when you have people that are in the loop, like your family come over, you have them out, your neighbor knocks on the door, biff, bam, boom. Or so. they're great for uh, if you're, you know, if you have them private in your office, or they're even great on the shelf in your gun safe. That's a great idea. So like you open up your gun safe, and you got the, you got the shelves and you can kind of display all, all your gold coins or what have you. Nice. Can they buy these online? Can people buy these online? Buycoinstandard.com. That's the name, okay. buycoinstandard.com. Cool, and I'll make sure we put a link in the description below to buycoinstandard.com. But I'm gonna pick up a few of these right now, um, and I think you guys should check them out too. All right, Martin, you're the best in the business, All man. right, thanks. Hey, yeah, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. I've got Carrie and Sam from the Central States Numismatic Society. These are our show hosts. I haven't shown so far today, but I thought it'd be great to talk to you and kind of learn a little bit more about why we're here, why you do the show. Absolutely. The main purpose of Central States is first and foremost education, uh, interesting people in numismatics, uh, learning, growing, fostering that knowledge, kind of the main the purpose of our show is to create a venue where people of all ages and interests and collecting groups can uh, come and, you know, share in those interests and pass it on to the next generation. So as a nonprofit, it's kind of our uh, fundraiser that keeps us going, that allows us, that funds us for our other uh, items like the Sentinel Publication Magazine with a lot of really good um, articles. Do you guys publish this? Yes. Nice. It's mailed out quarterly to our membership. So. Do I have to live in the central states to be a member? Well, no, you do not. Okay, so anyone can be a member. Yes. Right. Just go to your, your website and sign up there. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Yep. You have to be uh, American. Canadian to enter? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it's open to anyone and everyone. Nice. And if you enter, if you join the membership, you get the quarterly magazine. And you get free admission to our convention show here. What does the membership cost? 
thirty dollars wow, annually. I would have uh, <laughs> started beforehand. So. Yeah, because the emission is only twenty five, so exactly. you so can. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, so. right. And then you get this all year round. Nice. Uh, wonderful cool. articles, lots of education available, right. and then um, yeah, you get a preview of the show. So we definitely uh, want it to be a uh, an educational thing for the next generation as well. So we have a scavenger hunt that we put on every year, and so this year. Uh, going around the bourse looking for a one dealer from each of our 13 states and then we had wonderful donations from dealers and collectors nice. and we have a giddy, goodie bag uh, awesome. with yep. candy and, and things to get their, their collection started off on the right yeah, foot. Whit Whitman Publishing donated the red books and the U.S. Wow. Mint donated yeah. the, uh, the coin boards and the, wow. the other paraphernalia. So wait, are you telling me every kid gets a red book? If yeah. they fill if out they their books? Yes. Oh yes, they wow. do. Annie, you better fill this out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the U.S. Mints donated a number of coloring books and different awesome. things like that. So, yeah. That's really cool. Great. Well, look, we're having a great time. It's super busy. I think every dealer I talked to said this has been a great show. So, Excellent. so glad to hear it. That's yeah. what we want to hear. Awesome. Well, we'll be back next year. Great. Sounds great. great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Farhan again. This is a familiar hey face. We saw you down in Orlando, right? Correct. Now we're here at Central States in uh, Schaumburg. Nice. Nice up at RJ Bullion. And you guys have been slammed today. I know I picked up, I'll tell you, last time we had the colorized coin, the PAMP stuff, but Correct. you have a lot more uh, going on lately. You know, it's been a blessing. Plus, people are more interested in silver since January than now, but... Yeah, we're doing good now. You so know, you've even good. seen from from January when I thought the market was really hot. It's there's it's been a, in, so what happened? A lot of people are influx of the cash with the banks closing, uh -huh. so they want to get rid of their money, get rid of those liquid assets, and use them in silver. And okay, it's a better asset, better investment. Right. So that's how people see it. I would I'd be happy to accommodate. Not, yeah, absolutely. And, and a couple of weeks ago, we had Atmex and SD Bullion, and they upped their minimum orders. Correct. And then they had shipping delays. Were you affected? By any we of were those not, things? Okay. Uh, just because of the fact that we've been in the industry for at least 30 years. So okay. we know what we're doing on this. So yeah, we also know our this. customers. So they right. tend to get a rapport of same amount of items. So okay. we always try to fill them. We try not to do two, three weeks. Now, if it's something that they have already oversell and whatever my stock is, I can't delegate from here to here. I just try to accommodate first come first serve. Sure. It's easier for everyone. Gotcha. You know? so, gotcha. But yeah, I think we have not been burned yet. But I think we've been pretty good about it now. Nice. Yeah. And what's hot now? What's been selling at the show? Uh, it's sold out, actually. All my um, wow. all this stuff is gone. Yeah, the shelves are empty. Yeah, and then uh, we had this Valcampi 100 by 1. That sold out. Um, okay. All my That's 100 pads. silver? Yeah, there's okay. 100 grand. They see they're breakable and 100 right. So that sold out. My 10 ounces are all gone. Wow. My uh, uh, Libra tads and whatnot. A couple other products like the Deers. I mean, everyone... There was not too much bullion stuff happening today. Right. Out of all the tables I've been to, you probably have the most bullion out of anyone. I don't think there was any today. bullions here at all. Yeah. Just because of the fact that people are just strict points. So right. I want to throw a new twist to it. And we make sure we lock in for the next few years. We're also coming back here again. So gotcha. This is exactly what we want to do. We're going to be here. Same place, same nice. position. We had this done a couple of months ago, so we're all good right. to go. You know? Right. Same no, place, this same is spot. a great show. I yeah. I got a little confused. There was a national show in Chicago last year. Correct. That was the A and A show. Okay, A and A. So A and A show uh, this year is in Pittsburgh. They move around where the central states, the biggest one, is here. Okay. Uh, the other fun shows in Florida. The other fun right. shows in Long Beach. So our main three are always going to be A and A, uh, central states, and then the last one that we do are. Um, we call the uh, the fun show in Orlando. Okay, yeah. I thought this was super cool. Yeah, it's made by Pamp. There's only 3,600 made. If you take a look, it's actually a roulette wheel with a ball inside, and it actually stops. Nice. So yeah, it's That's one of those so cool, cool things of one and a half ounces of silver. We okay. do online orders, right? We do. We do okay. online order. We're on Facebook. We're okay. on Instagram. Cool. If there's something you guys are interested, just drop us a message yeah. anywhere. We try our best to get an answer to you in 24 hours. Okay, cool. Our goal is to make sure we respond to everyone. <laughs> Everything's for sale. <laughs> so no discrimination gotcha. when it comes to selling stuff. And what about collectibles? Or is it more just gold, silver, bullion? Products? I have both. So I do have collectibles. I have vintage okay. uh, Englehearts. Yeah. Um, okay. I have vintage Rothschilds. A lot of people look for those vintage Englehart bars. And we have them. We go through... 
we go through quite a bit. Okay. But we also have them, and we want to make sure we try to accommodate them. Now, if there's something you guys are interested, in, right? We hit us up with a message at RJ Bullion. You can track us down that way, and we'll try to look for it, and we'll give you an answer if we have that product or if we don't. So it's been a long day. I don't think we got a whole lot of American Women quarters, Annie. What did you yeah. end up with? I just ended up with the Sally Ride and the Maya Angelou, the 2022. Yeah, so they were at pretty least it's something that I was looking for. That's right. So hopefully, maybe we'll catch up with the rest of them online. We'll have to get them or the next show. So uh, I think we're going to go get some uh, hot dogs at Portillo's oh, yes. and maybe go to Chinatown. Oh, yes. All right. Peace out.